welcome back. <laughs> the last time you rolled through a drive through to grab a cup of coffee, maybe did you leave a tip? A new survey by Forbes reveals one in three Americans say they felt pressured when it comes to tipping. And in the digital age, it's kind of how do you know who to tip, when to tip, can you skip, is it okay? Our etiquette expert, Juliet Mitchell, <laughs> is here with to share some advice this morning. This is a hot topic. Uh, it is. <laughs> yeah, well, just tipping in general. Do you think that it's gone too far as, as far as like, it seems like everything you do these days requires some tip? Well, a lot of people feel it's gone too far, but some people did, weren't tipping to begin with, and so it's new to them, especially younger people, because mm. we've done the tipping for them. Now they're sure. in this world where their expectation is, I gave you a service, I did something extra, or I just did my job, and now I need this because the economy is so bad. But there are tipping guidelines, and there are certain industries that have been traditionally underpaid, and most of those are service industries, so they rely on the tips to live on. For sure. Mm -hmm. I have been shocked how many times I've done things and then they give you the receipt and it has a line for tipping and you literally go, wait, do we tip for this? Am I spoke? Mm -hmm. You're right. There's a lot of questions. <laughs> so let's go over the numbers. First, I mean, restaurants is kind of the obvious. Clearly, you tip at a restaurant. What's a good rule of thumb now? Where are we at? Well, I want to back up with the to the restaurants a little sure. bit because in some states still there is a minimal and it's below minimum wages. So they could be making $3 an hour. A lot of people don't know that. So their very life and uh, livelihood depend on tips. That's why sure. service is so important. Now that um, a lot of states are moving up to the minimum wage, you know they're making that, but it's still difficult to live on that. So it's kind of built into the fabric of our service industry in the United States. So what is, are we still between 15 and 20 depending on your service type 15, thing? 15, 20. Uh, 20 is actually getting to be the minimal, somewhere between 18 now? and 20. <laughs> if it's 10 or 15, it's maybe your hairdresser, maybe a buck or two for someone who is carrying one bag, but that is going up as well. So mm -hmm. all of the service industries, especially with travel, hotels, restaurants, are still the biggest. And then, of course, you have your personal care services, beauty shops, barber shops. Tattoo artists, mm -hmm. yes, you should tip your manicures. Mm -hmm. Oh, manicures are big. Mm -hmm. So, and then some people still like cash. So we're in a generation that loves to use cards. Mm -hmm. And now it's, it's on the little machine, what do you want to tip? Sometimes if you said, you know what, I can't tip today, or I don't feel that this is appropriate to tip, you can always not tip. Mm -hmm. And that person shouldn't be hovering over you seeing <laughs> what you're giving. Right. Because that's that's kind of disrespectful and it makes you feel kind of obligated to, to yeah. give a tip. We probably all felt pressured to tip at some point when, you know, as you mentioned, in the service industries, absolutely, you can understand, you know, they live on those tips. Mm -hmm. But in, in some cases, I feel like there have been times where I feel like, really, do I need to tip in this situation where somebody did, you know, did basically their job and now I'm just making up for the salary that, or, or you know, whatever they're being paid. It's not enough, um, it, so it can be kind of frustrating. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, coffee shops. Now, I know you've addressed restaurants, mm -hmm. yes. but there are so many baristas out there who kind of, you know, they make specialty coffees. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Are we supposed to be tipping more for that? I understand that a true barista is getting paid uh, barista salary, so there's really no need to tip extra. But if they went the extra mile to make that latte, that cappuccino, just like you like it. It's appropriate, maybe a buck a cup, maybe it's the loose change. And speaking of which, they still like cash over <laughs> cards. It's convenient, especially for our younger generation, everything is on a card. A lot of them don't even use cash, mm -hmm. but cash is more immediate, and because of the salaries are, are often low, they have that immediate return to get through the next paycheck. Sure. But the card is convenient, there may be fees, but that's what we pay for. You're right. I used to, when I worked at a restaurant, mm -hmm. if they pit, tipped in cash, you took that home that night, it was yours. But if it exactly. was on the card, when it's taxed, maybe yes, a little higher mm -hmm. than your cash payout is. It, they still it cheat that taxed. a little bit? Well, <laughs> it's I, yep, yeah, It's sure. tracked better. I didn't say so anything. So it helps yes. the merchant because uh -huh. it's tracked better. Like right. that. Mm -hmm. exactly. And it's more convenient. So we pay that extra fee for the convenience. But if you're traveling somewhere, even going out for the evening, just go ahead and get some cash and keep it in your pockets. There are some places will not take a cash tip. Oh, and this happened mm -hmm. at my, my nail shop. Oh. And there's a little sign there. And I was like, I don't have any cash. 
So I actually went to the car or the next one time I didn't have any cash at all. I said, well, I'll just make it up the next time because mm -hmm. I see her often. Yep. And then I was in uh, a small restaurant and I didn't have any cash. And I said, oh my goodness. And the guy looked at me like really strange. I literally went to my car and got cash. I think he was really surprised that I came back. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, let, let's talk about, you know, we're in inflation and yes. some people, you know, they're feeling that maybe, you know, we, we should we let inflation affect the way that we tip? I mean, maybe that's kind of a crazy question because everybody's feeling it, right? doesn't matter really what you make, but some others are feeling more of the pinch. Inflation is, is affecting that. It definitely is affecting us, but the percentage of the tips or the recommended tip hasn't changed. So maybe the price of the meal went up. That means that the amount of the tip has gone up because the percentage may still be the same. So if you were tipping 18% on $10 and now you're tipping 18% on $12, it's 18%. And sometimes we just have to pick and choose based on our own situation. Can I really afford to go out and do this thing and then honor those people who are serving me with a decent tip? Right, if you can't mm -hmm. afford the tip, yeah. that's not the restaurant for you. Yeah. Maybe not, but <laughs> there's always uh, that little caveat. There are some people who are just going to tip more. They can. So it kind of balances out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And That's a good way of I heard it. a server said that one of the uh, waiters ran down the street because the person didn't tip them. They literally ran chased out the restaurant, down? chased them down. And I was like, no, I wouldn't recommend that. That's dangerous. It's inappropriate, disrespectful, but it could be dangerous mm. as well. So yeah. sometimes it's going to be a buck. That's all you're going to get. Mm -hmm. Just swallow it with a little pride and grace and said, I'm not sure why, but I know I did a good job. Right. Somebody's that day is going to give them maybe a 50% tip. Maybe they'll just lay down a hundred bucks. So I think the natural order of things, it will return. Just do it graciously. Sure. Tip a little bit more if you can. All right. Yes. Juliette Mitchell, always good to have a chat with you. Thank and, uh, you. Thank you and for And a subject me. that we talk about a lot. Yep. For Behind more information, scenes. you can head to lifeadvocateinstitute.com.